New here at 10 o'clock, the sight of a mouse or a rat running across your floor, uh, not very pleasant. But if you can't get rid of the rodents and your landlord can't, what can you do? Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier has the answer. Kadisha was looking for a one-bedroom rental, and then she walked into a studio apartment. So I said, you know what, let me try out a studio because it's small and it's just me, and I, I actually really like it. It's so small she can see everything in her place. Everything. Uh, it's very out there and scary. Scary because when she moved in, mice were there to greet her. Look at that. All those droplets. It's disgusting. I said, you know what, I was going under the sink to get something, and I happened to see a tail, and I got really scared. Kadisha first made sure there was nothing in her apartment to attract rodents. I'm really clean. You know, I keep my place clean. I don't leave dishes in the sink or anything, and they still come. Then she put out glue traps. They worked again and again. And there's two right there in the trap. Two mice in that trap, but the next night, more squeezing through holes under the sink. Maintenance sealed them. It didn't work. Well, how could they come through the hole if he closed it? And that's when I noticed that they had opened back up the hole. The mice are small, but Kadisha's fear of them is large. To know, like, if I'm laying down and they just crawl on me, I would, I would literally, like, pass out. I am terrified of them. The property manager sent in pest control. Kadisha hired a company to spray foam to block the holes the mice were creating. And she says she hasn't seen any mice for a few days. But since she lives next to the garbage chute, she has concluded the mice can't be kept out. I don't know what to do. It's like a nonstop thing. They're going to keep coming. Well, Howard, does your landlord have to provide a rodent-free place to live? Yes, they do. Unless your lease stipulates you are responsible, the landlord has to provide regularly scheduled pest control. If they do not or it doesn't work, notify the landlord in writing in case you want to break the lease or demand a reduction in the rent. I spoke to the building's rental office where Kadisha lives. They told me they did regular pest control. They also did inspections. When I asked about rodents coming up through the garbage chute, I was told the maintenance crew took care of them. But if a fellow resident is dirty and the cause of the problem, what do you do, Howard? Notify the resident and the landlord in writing because the landlord can evict a tenant that does not maintain the apartment. In other words, creates a rat or a mouse problem. Even though the mice have been blocked for a while, Kadisha knows they will return to her apartment. But the solution for renters is not great. Well, I could move, but it's not really feasible at this moment. Um, the rent in Miami is super expensive. So it's kind of like I'm stuck. Renters are in a tough spot right now and have to decide whether to put up with problems or fight back. Howard mentioned breaking a lease or getting a reduction in your rent if you have rats and mice. To do that, it has to be a serious situation, not just a mouse or rat once in a while. If your rental has bad problems, the links to reduce the rent or the seven-day letter to move out are at WSVN.com under this Help Me Howard story. A problem left you feeling trapped? Don't say, oh, rats, and give up. Contact us. We'll be glued to our seats waiting for you. With well, this Help Me Howard and Patrick Frazier, 7 News.